Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you game 3 in a best of 3 between Vohati and the Knife Guy and this is the final of the first North American tournament. So we've come all the way down to the last game of this best of 3 which is always what you want to see and uh, it's certainly going to be an interesting one because on the allied side today Vohati is taking out the 7th armoured once again and on the Axis side the knife guy is taking out the 116th panzer. So uh, basically a match to the first game of the series but just with a different map. So yeah interesting how the knife guy will adapt his strategy that's what I'm mainly looking for here, in order to defeat um, the, the well-known strategy that the 7th Armoured use. There's always going to be the, the double recon Stuart strategy, as long as they are not nerfed. And um, that's something that, therefore, I think that the knife guy should be able to take advantage of, because he knows what's coming, and therefore might be able to make great use of those Panzer threes to make ground. One mistake I'm hoping not to see is an investment in artillery because it's something that you don't really need against the mobile armoured units that the 7th armoured really take advantage of in phase A. So let's have a look what's going down. I think I can see a mortar up here which is rather amusing. Oh it is actually a Panzerwerfer, okay. So we're going for the same strategy, exactly the same strategy again. I'm not so convinced. Um, Panzer 3M is great, don't get me wrong, but the Panzerwerfer following up is certainly questionable. It didn't really do anything in the first game of the series, and uh, therefore I'm rather confused as to why you would bring it again. Um, you don't have any AT guns to kill. Um, it may be good at taking out an M3 auto car if it direct hits with a rocket, but that is certainly something that you are gambling on quite a lot. Um, it won't necessarily pin down Stuarts that quickly. So I'm not so sure about the Panzerwerfer pickup. Either way both of those can be followed up by SPW232. There's also going to be the half track there with the Panzergrand. Um, we have the command infantry here in the 253 and they're going to be joined by a Panzer Grenadier assuming both of those are going to go to the town and one unit of speed troop on the bottom side uh, with the 251. Um, on the side of Vohati he's got one unit of Stuart Recce heading to the top side that Stuart Recce is going to hold the front line there two units of Desert Rats heading into the town with a Stuart Remy with the recon or with the command infantry sorry on the bottom side it's going to be some motorized rifles, desert rats, there's also a command in there uh, which will either be assisting the desert rats or even the Stuart 5s, most likely the Stuart 5s. What will probably happen is Wahanti will try and make as much ground as he can and then unload when he's actually started to engage so he does get that 3 star veterancy. But a huge disparity once again, Wahanti this time going bottom and uh, the knife guy going top, it was the opposite in the first game with the knife guy actually heading bottom instead. But either way, um, the placement of these Stuart 5s is interesting for sure. Um, he probably is aware that there's not going to be too much in, in these buildings, so he is free to drive up to them. But sort of pushing into a more open area might be more ideal. However, saying that if Bulhati is aware of like Panda 3s and so on, which he should be because it's the 116th, um, he may not want to take a, a, an open range engagement at all because the Panzer threes would then win very convincingly. Now Vohati has pushed himself a 51% territory lead early on. Um, is going to be looking for a kill onto this half track I would assume with his Stuart 5 but leaves himself awfully close to some of these buildings where the Panzer Grenadiers might be able to jump forwards and exploit uh, that positioning and they are going to jump forwards, but into the face of the Desert Rat and the Motorized Rifle Leader. Uh, the Knife Guy is not too happy about that position, so he's going to try and jump back. Uh, but that is not going to be in time. Here comes the 30 cal and the 50 cal fire. Panzergrens get pinned down. Panzerwerfer is trying to do its best in pinning the Stuart 5, but doesn't. 
and that's what I was mentioning. The Panzerwerfer are just not very effective. There's just no way that like the Stuart Fives get pinned very easily. And a Pack 38 has come in. I like that he's brought in two together this time, but one's not firing at the moment. Whereas if they were both firing at the same time, that would be great. So right idea, wrong execution. Pack 38, one of them's going to get absolutely deleted there. This second one will then get destroyed on its own. Panzergrenfjord are trying to smoke themselves off. Panzergrenadiers have gone down, however. Pack 38, it does have line of sight onto the Stuart 5, but the Stuart 5 already firing away, and yeah, Pack 38's pinned down. Those Pack 38s just aren't very good. Now, another Stuart 5 has come in to cover the top side. We'll be able to try and push back with this half track. Panzer 3 is trying to make as much ground as possible. But once again, the decision to bring in Pack 38 over another Panzer 3 just completely bemuses me. Um, however, that Pack 38 managing to find the kill there, which is quite nice. If it can find the second one onto the Stuart 5, that would certainly be a start. However, uh, going to be pinned down and killed off almost instantly. That was pretty insane. Um, Stuart Recky, they're going to be able to get behind this 253. The 50 cal at that close range might even be able to get the kill. We do see the half track dying on this top side. And now we have two Stuart 5s trying to cover off against this Panzer 3M. This Panzer 3M putting itself in a pretty dodgy position because the Stuart 5 can currently drive up to this tree line, poke around the corner and get a kill there if it wanted to. Uh, meanwhile, um, but since both of those Pack 38s have been taken out, um, the Stuart 5s here are pretty much free to do what they want for the time being. Uh, we can see that one of the Stuarts was taken out. And we're going to see an engagement between the Stuart 5s and the Panzer 3. If the Panzer 3 can push around this tree line first and engage, that would be really, really good for the Panzer 3. But for some reason, didn't have that on an attack move going around that tree line. So it didn't really stop to engage before being engaged upon by two Stuart 5s. Now the 8... AP there, managing to penetrate the 7 armor with the transmission damage. Pretty damn good for Vohati. Gonna find the kill. Looks like that uh, was showing side armor as it tried to retreat, and now the 232 left alone. Panzer Grenadiers are going to be spotted and hit very hard. There is a Flam Panzer trying to do work in this town, but not too much infantry to kill there. A lot of it's already ran forwards. Here we go, Stuart 5. Going to be finding and killing off this half track. 232 is dead on the top side. Not going to be long until the Panzergrens are cleaned up and the 23 or 253 is also killed. And that's going to swiftly turn into a plus three. It's it's almost becoming the exact same game as the first game in terms of uh, like the actual thing that's happening um, in the game, like in terms of the, the unit losses, it's, it's only a matter of time until the Stuart 5 takes out the Panzerwerfer. Um, so that's uh, very interesting, but yeah, why a second Panzer 3 was not bought sooner, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, also the reliance on the Panzerwerfer a second time showing that it was not the right choice in unit. Now the knife guy leaves himself in a pretty desperate position. He can possibly bring it back uh, if he finds some um, quality kills onto like some of the Stuart 5s and stuff but he's got four to kill now and the motorized rifles there actually landing a piet shot onto the flam panzer is, is not good for for the knife guy at all yeah these panzer 3s it's got a lot of work to do right this panzer 3 has got to kill the Stuart 5 and then it's got to kill the other Stuart 5s and at this rate the panzer 3 is actually just going to move into a line of sight of the Stuart 5 here can the knife guy even see this? No, he can't. Oh, this isn't good. Stuart 5 is going to come out, aim really quickly. Boom. Hands of three down. The trouble is, when these Stuart 5s get this close, you can see how their superior aim time is just so good for these close range engagements. Now, there is a chance, obviously, that the Stuarts would miss, but uh, they don't very often due to their high veterancy. And that's why they just are very superior at the close range. Um, at the long range, however, if the Panzer 3s were covering, say, from here or even, you know, from here, 
then the Panzer threes are, are a much better choice. Um, it just seems as though they have not been utilized very well. Um, the Pack 38 going to be taking out one of those Stuarts though, which is nice. Doesn't take out the Stuart 5, however, which would have probably been a much better kill. 258 is going to try and push back on this bottom side. There isn't really too much there to stop it, uh, which is interesting. This 251 should actually be heading back, and it is, uh, because then that can start to affect the front line again. So good move there from the knife guy. But with a plus three already in favor of Vohati, you can see that in 10 minutes and 44 seconds, victory will be his. We do see the Stuart 5 once again coming around for a close range engagement. Look how quickly they aim. Ammo storage hit is going to stop the Panzer 3 from firing straight away. And second shot does the job. Just superb micro here from Vohati. Stagcown comes in, takes out. 258 and it just leaves the knife guy in an even worse position than he was before 251 finally gets back to the front line starts to push that forwards but with these losses helping or happening elsewhere the Stuart fives just pretty much have free reign and the stag count looking for the kill onto the 232 Panzerwerfer hasn't died this time. Saying that, it's now under fire. 232 going to be coming in at close range. Takes out one of the Stuarts, which is very nice. That's going to be looking for the kill onto the M5 half track as well. But the motorized rifles, under that stressed state, managed to hit a Piat onto the 232. That is rather impressive, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it's not often you see a Piat hit, let alone when a squad's completely panicked. But either way, job done. And uh, for the knife guy, he's losing more and more units on this bottom side. Panzerwerfer is trying to stop itself from being killed by the Stuart 5 by hitting it with a rocket strike. But it's just not going to be enough. And the knife guy saying here, I'm happy with what I've achieved with this tournament. And uh, good on ya. <laughs> Panzer 3. That's going to be making one last attempt on this bottom side to make some ground. Um, it's going to be hitting the Stuart Recchi and the Stag Count. And for those of you wondering about him mentioning the stream, I believe the games were streamed live initially. Panzer 3. Can it make this engagement happen? It can. Shoot a wounded's nice, but Vohati micros that behind the tree line. Job done. Stuart fives here in prime positions to just ambush anything that comes up the road. You can see that uh, Vohati just need, not leaving anything to chance really. Doesn't want to engage at range if he doesn't have to. And he even showed it on the bottom side there with the stag count. Just gives him a much better chance of defeating these Panzer threes. And well, meanwhile, Vohati just moving the rest of his units forwards, but I'm assuming here that the knife guy has given up. And that's it. The knife guy's going to surrender. So after 11 minutes, exactly, apparently, um, Vohati is going to be victorious. And congratulations to him. He wins the first North American tournament. Great job. Really, really interesting strategy with the 17th SS. I really, really enjoy watching him use that division um, throughout the tournament. It's been really, really fascinating to watch. To sort of take a completely different doctrine to what other people rely on. And um, yeah, it didn't manage to make it work in the second game. The knife guy took advantage of him with the 7th Armoured. 7th Armoured certainly making a showing. It's a very, very strong division at the moment, and um, well, it. De I think those Stuart recons they definitely need tuning down, maybe in veterancy or just some other way, because we can just see how effective they can be, and 
I don't know, maybe an aim time buff or debuff. It, it, it's hard to say. You, I think, honestly, there needs to be like a discussion about it. And uh, we'll just sort of find out what works. But in the meantime, 7th Armoured coming out very strong. And the Vohati here, 970 kills to 385 losses. Yeah, look at those Stuart Fives. One thing that was interesting, though, was the, kni the knife guy didn't actually get many Stuart Five kills in his game when he won with the 7th Armoured. But uh, certainly something that Vohati takes full advantage of um, with his kills and uh, with these games that basically last no time at all. Stuart Five's just tearing things to pieces, all on their lonesome. In terms of the losses, well, Pack 38, they could have been heroes, but they were not today. Panzer III is certainly not doing too well either. Just didn't have that ideal engagements that they would have liked to have. But uh, yeah, just a couple Panzer Three M's with a couple of 232s at the very start of the game, I think is a much better strategy than like relying on the Panzerwerfer. So that's something I'd like to see in the future with this 116th. It's interesting to think about how the 116th would be a counter to the 7th Armoured. And I think that's something that the knife guy maybe tried to identify but uh, probably hadn't practiced too much going in. Either way, um, interesting set of games. Congratulations once again to Vahati for winning the tournament and uh, commiserations to the knife guy for not doing so, but takes second place and, and well earned. So that's it for the North American tournament, the first North American tournament. Thanks to, of course, the organizers um, Tosh specifically um, for sorting this one out I think he plans to do another North American tournament in the future but until then um, that's all from me hopefully you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video goodbye